Hello, it is Tuesday, September the 20th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 14 again, and this time we will read verses 10 through 18. Here is the word of the Lord. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, Leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to have served the Egyptians than die in the desert. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go after them, and I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I gain glory through Pharaoh, his chariots, and his horsemen. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Not Your Fight. By Dan Kaufman. One of my favorite things about being a dad is the learning experiences I get to share with my kids. Often there will be something that they think they know how to do or they think they have it all figured out. I have twin five-year-olds and a one-year-old. There are those moments when I as a father have to step in and say let me help you just watch and learn. Negotiating or protesting usually follows from my twin boys. After they have seen that I may have a better way than they knew about, I begin to gain their trust. Then they begin to see that I am for them, always. We say that we see the same truth lived out with the Israelites as Moses was leading them out of Egypt. The unknown is scary and challenging, but God is for his people. God takes the battle on for them. As the Israelites protest in confusion, they learn that God wants them to simply trust him and see that he is for them, always. In what areas of your life is God telling you to move on because he wants to fight your battles for you? The hymn is Teach Me Thy Way, O Lord, by B. Mansell Raisin. Ramsey. Help me to walk aright, more by faith, less by sight. And from the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 19. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. And this is your daily devotion for Tuesday, September the 20th. Have a blessed day.